guys having a drink tonight? If you're having a wine? If you're watching this as a replay? Are you having a coffee? What is your go-to drink at the moment? I have been craving a gin and tonic, but I've been drinking um, whiskey, red sparkling Shiraz, um, or I've been making Chicago sours, which is what I had with my girlfriend Jess this time last year. She lives in Brisbane, I live in SA. Um, and we used to catch up because we we're in the same network marketing company and we used to catch up in like every like we used to travel a lot so we went to thailand together we went to singapore melbourne we we're always going to events and hanging out and like we stayed with each other in thailand and and then once we both left the company we were like what do we do we don't have all these excuses to in travel and catch up in all these places anymore so we just decided hey guess what every year we're going to travel and do this um so last year we went and we met in melbourne for the weekend and we just hung out like we didn't do any shopping we didn't no timeline we just like were up till three o'clock in the morning talking and drinking and one night we went out to this bar the taxi bar somewhere in melbourne it was on a rooftop and they had jazz and we just drank chicago sours and red wine and this chicago sour was so good and i think i built up the idea of cocktails in my head like you need all these different spirits and you need all this fancy equipment and all these skills to do cocktails and then the other night it was like 12 months since we've quite off in melbourne i'm stuck here in sa coronavirus not me myself having coronavirus but with everything going on stuck here with a baby um last time this time last year definitely with no plans of getting pregnant i'm here with a newborn baby and jess is pregnant she's having her baby in june which is really exciting um and she's having a little girl so our lives in the last 12 months have totally changed um, you know even to the point like her wedding was in last October and I actually couldn't go because I wasn't allowed to fly because I was worried about my placenta and like so many things changed but the Chicago sour drink I like googled it and it was ridiculously easy like and I'm just like why did I make such a big deal about cocktails in my head like you need all this stuff and you can't do it and it's like not like you're either good at cocktails you're someone that knows how to do cocktails or you're someone like me that buys the premix like this is actually a premix gin and tonic because I just like I just want one I don't need like a whole bottle of gin right now because I'm it's not really gin drinking weather so we're at the bottle and it's like can I just get like a gin and tonic by itself and the guy like came out with all this huge range and I was like oh thank you right mm added some lime so good every time I drink gin I remember my friend Amber um who I miss so much <laughs> right so as I was talking about this Chicago sour it was actually so easy we need like whiskey lemon juice an egg some sugar water ice and a cocktail shaker and I'm like protein shaker same thing right <laughs> so I just used an old protein shaker um and made this cocktail in literally like two minutes and it was freaking delicious and I enjoyed it so much. I was like, dang, that was so easy. Why did I make a big thing about it in my head? And then why did I have this idea that some people are just good at cocktails, some people are cocktail people and some people aren't? How stupid, like no baby is born knowing how to make cocktails. It is a skill you pick up somewhere between being born and being a cocktail person you learn it's like someone who starts um you know karate a black belt in karate doesn't go from knowing nothing to a black belt in karate <laughs> you know they're not born with special karate skills it is something they have to learn and it's so funny like i didn't know why i had this whole story about like i'm someone who can't do that i'm not clever enough or i'm not creative enough or i don't have enough ingredients i don't have enough tools right and like those two are kind of understandable things like for i think for some cocktails if you looked up like some really complicated thing where you need like contro um kalua and tequila and something else you'd go like like i have to buy like 90 dollars way more than that about 200 dollars worth of alcohol just to make one drink and I like cocktails. I often have an espresso martini out with friends. Um, I like gin and tonic. That's like a really simple go-to of mine. Why am I talking so much about alcohol? I have a point, I promise. Um, and now that I'm talking about this, I'm like, this is gonna make a great email. I'm gonna turn this into an email as well. Let's turn it into a YouTube as well. Anyway, so I made this cocktail. It was stupid easy. I'm excited and now I'm like, yes. Yes, I can make you a cocktail. I can make one. <laughs> 
You can only have a Chicago sour right now, but I can make you a cocktail. And so it's got me thinking like, you know, I could, I could start, maybe I'm going to try cocktail of the week. Oh, we're going to do that. I'm adding that to my Trello board right now. Cocktail of the week. Learn how not to fuck up a cocktail with Shona. This is what we do when we get inspired, aligned, soul-led action. It's just like, hey, Shona, guess what? You're going to start making cocktails. Cocktail of the week. That's happening. Awesome. <laughs> so this, let's do it. Should we do it on a Friday? Friday sounds fun. This Friday, I'm going to show y'all, y'all, show y'all how to make a cocktail. Um, let's start with the Chicago Sour because I feel like another one of them. <laughs> And let's do that with a protein shaker and all the shit that no one else has without all the fancy stuff. And let's see if I can grow up big enough and um, companies will send me alcohol. That would be like my dream influencer gig, right? The woman who drinks a lot of alcohol gets free alcohol. I get a lot of free wine. I don't get free spirits. I would like to get free spirits. Okay, so the moral of my story is... Gin is delicious. Point two, I didn't know cocktails have egg in them. That's how they make them frothy with egg white. That was the kind of way I was reading the recipe. I'm like, you wanted me to add what? An egg? <laughs> really messed with my head for a minute. And then I made it. I was like, oh yeah, that's how they do it. I mean, that's so obvious now, but before it wasn't. My point, you're not, there aren't rules in the universe to go, this person knows how to make cocktails and this person will never know how to cocktail make cocktails. And isn't a cocktail person and it's never a school their master. There is no rule like that. Like it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Like when I say it like that, there's no big rule in the sky that when a baby is born, someone comes around and ticks a box and says, you will be a cocktail person or you won't be a cocktail person, right? Doesn't happen. It's a skill we learn along the way. It is something anyone can choose to learn. And if you are choosing, if you either choose to learn about cocktails and learn how to make them and have fun experimenting with them and drinking them and liking them, or you don't, and it's okay, but no one goes around going, I don't have magical cocktail skills. I'm just no good with cocktails. I just can't do it. Like you fuck it up and you try again and that's half the fun, right? So why then with money do we have these ideas that you're someone that's either good with money or not? That you're someone that has an abundance mindset or you're someone that just doesn't and they're like fixed states. You know, your ability to make cocktails is not a fixed state. It's something that you can change. It's something that you can choose to change, choose to learn, choose to master. You can learn new skills. You can buy cocktail books. You can watch it on YouTube. You can come learn how to make a Chicago sour with me. Maybe some point. I don't know. I may not ever actually end up doing that. It could just be inspired action and then my heart goes, no, we have enough on our plate. You know, um, you can learn you can choose to learn and you can choose to enjoy the experience and fuck up along the way and no one's going to berate you like you fuck up one cocktail and no one's going to be like oh my god you are so bad at this and you can never make another cocktail and you're horrific and please don't right it's okay to fuck up you just try again um transfer that idea and that mindset to money because money is a skill that we can either choose to learn or we can choose not to learn. It is not inherently given to some people and not to others. It is not something that, you know, like some people have brown eyes, some people have blue. It's not like that. You know, our experience with money comes from our experience in life, how we um, were shown the idea of money and educated about money as a kid. But once you're an adult, once you are making decisions for yourself, once you have your own can hear the baby screaming once you have your own like adult email address and you're paying electricity bill it's up to you right it's up to you to decide okay i'm going to continue to be shitty with money and i'm going to continue to bury my head in the sand and pretend it's just something that's not for me or you actually choose to actively pursue it and learn about it which is you guys because you're obviously here but we can still kind of have that messaging and have that programming that it's not something for it's not for me it's for other people it's for someone else Someone else that just magically knows all about this stuff and not me. Like I was doing with the cocktail thing. Like how crazy. Like I might have dealt with this in my money issues. But in my real life, in the day to day, I was still like, oh, there's something that's just not for me. That's not my skill. That's not my thing. So silly. 
I'm burping because of the bubbles in the gin. Sorry, guys. Anyway, that was my little story. And...